Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to quickly copy and edit any GeoGebra activity you find and custom make it just the way you want it. It's very, very easy to do. I'm going to demo with this uh, isosceles triangle discovery right here uh, in GeoGebra, an activity that I created a little while ago. But um, so basically, this activity walks through and it's kind of like it guides them step by step. It's almost like it holds them by the hand how to make an isosceles triangle, right? Draw a circle, right? And let's plot two points on the circle. One, two. And then we'll use the polygon tool to build that triangle right there. Okay? And then it simply asks them to measure the angles and then voila, oh my gosh, here we have an isosceles triangle and two of its angles are congruent, right? These base angles right here, All right? But, you know, for some teachers, they look at these directions and they're like, you know what? I just want to get rid of these. I, how do I take this and differentiate it for students who need more of a challenge? Like, let me give them this limited toolbar right here, but instead, let's make it um, a challenge. Like, I don't want to hold them by the hand, if you will. Now, some students need this scaffolding in order to discover what you want to discover as a teacher, but a lot of students don't. So right here, what we're going to do, if that's you, what you can do as a teacher, if in theory you had this, you can go right up here to these dots right up here, click on them, and you want to hit copy activity okay now you won't you won't have edit activity because um if it's not your file i mean i'm in my account right now but you'll always have the option to copy a public activity just like you copy a google doc what do you do with a google doc that you don't have edit access to you go to file make a copy so in geogebra the analogy to that is going up here and hit copy activity right there and check this out and i'm going to call this today's retitle it whoops today's daily challenge and watch this I can click on this now and here's how I differentiate for students who need a challenge in one second there's my differentiation done all right so in the GeoGebra geometry app window below I want you to let's say construct use the limited toolbar changing the directions here of GeoGebra to construct a triangle that always remains in caps right looks like i'm shouting but i'm not isosceles and i'll say be sure it passes the drag test what do i mean when i say the drag test well i should be able to move those vertices around and still have it be isosceles not change the skate lean or something like that i can get rid of this and let's just keep this question right here hey what do you notice all right, and then have the student reflect and describe. And look at that. Differentiation done in like, what, a minute or two? Not even. Hit save and close. Now, what you want to do is go back to your profile page. Now, unfortunately, GeoGebra doesn't take you to the new copy. That's a workflow issue they're going to work on improving. But if you go back to uh, the word GeoGebra up here, where does that copy you made go? It goes right to your profile, which you can access right here by hitting profile or you can go right up here to your letter, your icon right here. And so if you see it right there, check it out. Um, right up here. Okay, I actually have folders. So normally, it, it would literally be literally right on your profile page right there. But because I have so many folders and so many things filed away, um, it actually for me is going to be in a, it's going to be found in the folder in which I had the original file, which I'm going to have to find right now uh, under um, Let's see here. Give me a second. Triangles and polygons, triangle theorems. And see, it says today's daily challenge. It's right here. Okay. So now I can click on that. But for you, it'll be on your profile page. If you have no folders, it'll be fine. Now, there's my original file. Now I can go ahead and create a GeoGebra lesson on it by hitting assign. And I can assign it just as a lesson to take the link and dump it in Canvas or Schoology or whatever. Or uh, I can sign it directly to Google Classroom. So that is how I can take any GeoGebra public activity I find and copy it and edit it and custom make it to the way I want it for my students.